If you are wondering how specific player playstyles are acting on the pitch and what their main differences are, you are at the perfect place where I will give you a light bulb effect. I will show you what the main definition of the player playstyle is and how Konami is projecting and reflecting that definition on the pitch. On top, I will give you a detailed breakdown comparison of their behaviors with the ball and without the ball where you can see the main differences of each playstyle. And today we are starting with the defense play styles. The Destroyer is a tenacious battler who keeps opposition attacks at bay through hard tackling and pressing. The compatible positions are CMF, DMF and center back. With Maldini I am showing you the behavior of a Destroyer in game. In this first example, you can already see that he is so aggressive and gaining back the possession for me. But what's the most interesting part here is that I am selected on Kante. I have no influence of my defense. I don't even have the next player indicator above Maldini. So he's doing that all by himself, all due to his player ID. I'm still Kante. I'm at the midfield, chilling at the midfield, and this guy is gaining back the possession. For me, it's unreal. He's making so much pressure. He is so aggressive. This is for all destroyers, guys. It's almost the same for every destroyer. In this situation, now we are coming to the little disadvantages. So he's really aggressive. He is crossing his running lane with my other center back, as you can see it here in this situation. And with this move, with this crossing move, he is making up big spaces on the left side where my opponent is able to take an advantage of this and score a goal. So you always need to be focused on your center backs, especially if you're playing with two destroyers, it will become really, really hard. You will open up spaces behind your back line, which you don't want to open up. You can be, of course, really effective also with two destroyers, but to have more structure, I would put in a little variation. Make sure to subscribe to my channel not to miss any other breakdown from the other playstyles, player skills, player abilities, formations, tactics, and way more to come, guys. A build up is a player who likes to drop back to receive the ball and trigger attacks from the deep. The only compatible position here is the center back position. For the build up, I am using Virgil van Dijk in this situation. So he is my right center back beside Maldini. We will have a great overview now of his behavior. Konami is saying that this player of build ups are dropping back. And this is what you can see in this situation. He is always dropping back to trigger the attacks. Can be really helpful. We will talk about it later on. So you can see that he's always pointing with his arm like bro i am here give me the ball and you can see that the other players are running and moving around the pitch while van dijk is just standing still and pointing out because he wants to receive the ball and trigger the attack by building up the game or initiating the counter in his defensive behavior he is a little more passive than destroyers you can see that my opponent is attacking here and what's the most interesting part here is that my other two defenders are looking straight to my opponent while Van Dijk is turning backwards to be more safe and to save the area. So can be really good, can be really structured. Same situation here. He is trying to attack the opponent and sees, oh, I am making a gap and another mate is already attacking. So I will cover the space more secure. Good in defensive behaviors to have structured defensive lines with a build up in your game an extra frontman is a defender who likes to join in the attack and lay siege on the opposition goal at every given opportunity the only compatible position here is the center back position once again who else then Sergio Ramos for the extra frontman position and in this scenario I am using him as a right center back and in the first seconds, you can already see that he is touching the opponent's half, which center backs in a long ball counter system usually don't do. Also, when you are dropping back 
he's running to the front so really aggressive minded a high indicator for his play style if you are going full red he will go full crazy because he will be the first one who is joining the attack and it's always the same with extra frontmans if you're going full red full offensive your extra frontman is always the player who will dash to the front who will join the attack and who will bring himself into the attack this is what his play style does this is what he is standing for and if you are going back to the balance mode he will stay at the front he won't run back anymore because this is his play style lay siege on the opposition goal so he won't run back anymore he will play there and in this case he's my furthest forward it's unreal so he was even further forward than my mbappe for example in the defensive behavior he is doing a solid job uh, extra point man in general i'm talking about of course guys so he's keeping the distance to the opponent he's keeping a solid distance to his center backs he is not dashing forward like a destroyer is with this overview i am comparing now each play style and to point out their main differences i will go for two different scenarios one is without the ball and the other one is with the ball while we are starting with the destroyer play style destroyers can gain you back the possession really fast but they are a little dangerous because they are opening up the space behind their own back line with build ups it's other way round they are really structured and they are covering the space behind them by they are not actively attacking the opponent all the time extra frontmans feel a little more uncoordinated in their defensive behavior because they are running back running forward and they are unpredictable why i don't recommend them so much now what about the behavior when we have the possession to point you out that we are starting with the destroyer once again the destroyer is little offensive minded so he is able to run to the front while you are the ball holder and running to the back but he will keep the distance and come back he won't stick to running to the front so he's not 100 percent attacking minded way different here the build up who is always dropping back and always able to receive the ball to build up the game or to initiate a counter attack so he will always be in a safe place in a safe situation on the pitch the extra front man is the most attacking minded center back play style or defense play style in general while he is always trying to rush to the front in every situation where he can join the attack which can help you but can also lead to concede calls via counter attacks a really controversial position now the fullbacks let's have a look at them how they will perform on the pitch A fullback finisher is a fullback who enjoys joining the attack in high central areas. The compatible positions here are both fullback positions, right back and left back. For this play style, I am using Hernandez as my left back, as you can see it here. I am receiving the ball with Kante, but what's the most interesting part is that now Hernandez is crossing his waist with me. He is cutting inside to the center area where he is able to receive the ball and score a goal like his definition is saying. And to show you, I am here on the left side with Kante surrounded by the opponent and Hernandez is cutting inside where he sees there is a gap in front of him where he will run through, receive the ball and score a goal. But guys, attention, it's not always like that with fullback finishers. I will show you why. Here, he is initiating the counter attack and Kante is now running in the center. I am covering the center area with Kante. So Hernandez is sticking to the left wing. Even that he is now trying to run to the inside, to the center. He sees and he's noticing that it's already covered by me, by Kante. So he's sticking to the left wing and running there. Now I'm doing a little tap to the top. And that activates him to dash, to sprint to the front. Because he's not able to cut inside anymore. Because we are too far in the own half of the opponent in the build up it's different so if you play the ball back and want to build up the game you can see how far hernandez is on the pitch one of the furthest 
forwards in game right now in this situation while defending he's always trying to dash back as fast as possible to find his position in the four defensive line that is something which he can do really really fast a defensive fullback is a solid fullback who prefers to stay back and stick on defensive duties the compatible positions here are again the right back and the left back in this showcase we are using Tommy Yasuo as my defensive fullback on the left back position and the first thing which you are noticing now is that he is not dashing to the front he is staying at the back and just yeah going to the front and always staying behind the ball holder to receive the ball but also to cover the space behind your ball holder and to secure yourself from counter attacks and you can imagine like there's a forbidden line which he is not able or allowed to cross and he won't cross it it can be really useful for some of you who are joining their pullbacks into attacks it can be a disadvantage in the defensive behavior you can see that he is always prepared to run to the back not even looking to the opponent often always trying to run to the back and cover the space and if you're building up your game new he is one of the first players who's rushing to the back to be able to receive the ball from that kind of situation from that kind of positions and here you can also see that he's almost at the same line at my center backs compared to my other right back so really really defensive really solid An attacking fullback is an attacking minded fullback who will run upfield and join the attack when presented with a chance. The compatible positions here are again the both fullback positions. This showcase is now with Albert Ferrer. He is my right back in this situation. And now just take care what he will do now in my attack, in my run. First of all, he is raising his arm for the first time while I am running second time in one attack and he will do it the third time he will point out like this bro i am free play me the ball so three times he pointed out that he's free that he's able to receive the ball that he wants to join the attack so this guy knows only one way and this is to the front doesn't matter if there's somebody inside or not he will stick to the wing but he won't cut inside if you're building up games he is one of the firstest forward players again he won't fall deep he will stay at the front almost at the same line at my attacking midfield so if you are looking for a player to build up the game from the deep from the back attacking fullbacks could cause problems for you but if you want to overcome the opponent's midfield with a cross like i am doing here attacking fullbacks are a really really great choice in the defense he is running back instantly he's searching for the defensive line to position himself in there and to give you a nice and smooth structure but of course because of his attacking style he is not able to catch up your defensive line in no time he needs some time to run back and this is something which could leads to conceding counter attacks the defensive behavior of each play style is almost the same so i go for two different scenarios one is to build up from the back and the other one is the main definition of the play style their running lane their running behavior and we are starting with the fullback finisher hernandez with the build up you can see that he is running to the front and he is far far up the pitch where he wants to receive the cross or the second ball with the defensive fullback it's different he is falling back and he wants to initiate the build up he wants to be one of the first players receiving the ball in the build up and with the attacking fullback it's similar to the fullback finisher so he is running to the front staying there at almost the same line as my attacking midfield waiting to receive the ball let's come to the main difference their running behavior as a fullback and in my opinion konami implemented it so so well so accurate i will show you with these three showcases where we are starting with hernandez it's the situation where he is crossing the ways 
and he is cutting inside to the center areas of the pitch where he is aiming to score to finish as a fullback finisher. A defensive fullback is more safe for you. He is not running to the front. You are not able to involve him into attacks, but you are also safe to concede counter-attacks. So he is doing a great job there for you. The attacking fullback is nice because you can always rely on him that he will dash to the front. He won't stop. He won't cut inside. He is really predictable and doing a fantastic job on the wing. Almost 40 hours at a time for this video, guys. I would be happy about a like and also let me know in the comments which you want me to talk about next. I will leave you now with a nice and smooth BAM JUNGE!